guys, so today I have another Lego haul, but today's Lego haul is a bit special because I went to New York City today, and I went to the Lego store at Rockefeller Center, and I just want to say right off the bat, that store is amazing. The set selection is huge, a lot of sets there, and the pick -a brick wall is insane. There's so many pieces, the wall is huge, it's really tall, really wide, just so many different types of bricks on that wall. And there are mocks like on every shelf in that store, so it's really cool to see a lot of those fan creations just all throughout the store. And I mean, overall, just having that experience to be at that Lego store, it was just really cool. Really glad I got a chance to go there. But I, while I was there, did pick up quite a few things, so that is what I'm going to show to you today. I'm just going to go ahead and move me out of the way so we can get started. And I'm also just going to move the bag out of the way just so I can focus more on each individual thing. So the first thing that I got today was actually free because it's just a store calendar. And like there's the new Death Star. Uh, just shows a bunch of events that are going on. And just a regular calendar. It is for October 2016. So I mean, yeah, it's really it exclusive holiday countdown calendar so I'm um, I mean I don't know just a calendar but still pretty cool to get I'm just gonna go ahead and set that there and then the next thing that I got is one of those just a uh, like build your own minifigure things and the reason I did this is just because there are a lot of cool parts and like on that little um thing like little island I don't know what you call it like uh, a lot of cool face prints cool torsos uh, the accessories didn't really impress me and there weren't too many like a uh, hair or helmet pieces but the torsos and the faces and the legs those were really cool like this guy here uh, he is kinda of facing backwards so he is kinda of hard to see and I can't really shake him around but he had but like those are like um, Simpsons legs it's a New York torso he has like glasses and a beard and a police hat and I mean this guy is probably the most normal looking and uh, this guy is just really weird, but I mainly got this for the pieces, so really excited just to get some cool minifigure parts with that. And then the next thing that I got is this little um, holiday ornament. It's um, like a little reindeer, and these I had never gotten a Lego holiday ornament, and it just looked really cool. So, And I do believe this is a Lego store exclusive, so you can't get it like Target or anything. I'm not 100% sure on that. So, 21 pieces builds a nice little reindeer so you can hang it up like on the Christmas tree. But, I mean, I don't know. Just something kind of cool that I thought, eh, might as well pick it up while I'm there at the Lego store. So, also got that today and I don't think it's going to want to stand. So, I don't know, I'm just going to do my best, just put it there. It's not going to want to stand up properly. And then this is really the only, like, New York exclusive that I got. It's the, uh, I, uh, no, not I Heart New York, uh, just a regular New York guy. It's just the magnet. And they also had the keychain, but it was just the same minifigure. Instead of a magnet, it was a chain. So I decided not to get the keychain, but I did pick up the magnet. And I'm excited to open this one up. Uh, probably review this one. But, I mean, I don't know. Just a little cool exclusive thing to the Rockefeller Lego store. So, go ahead and put that there. And then I also saw this. They had like a big keychain wall. And I saw this little like a chrome gold minifigure. Uh, I'm not really sure what he's supposed to like represent, if anything at all. But I just saw a chrome gold figure and thought, eh, it looks pretty cool. Pick it up. I mean, I don't know. Something about it just looks really cool. Um, just a regular old keychain. Well, I mean, I would have liked it if they had like spray painted chrome onto the hands but still feel like this figure looks really really cool i would have liked it if it was just a figure maybe no keychain make it a little more usable but it still is really cool to get so i think i'll just see if you can stand up put in there and then the last thing that i got is actually my first ever pick a brick cup so uh I decided I eh, might as well get the uh, Statue of Liberty, like a pick a brick model, but they were kind of out, so I had to pick the pieces from the wall and couldn't get one of those like little um, part cases that they use for those like monthly pick a brick builds. So I decided I eh, might as well just get a pick a brick cup. So um, making a lot of noise there. Sorry about that, but um, I decided just to pick one of these up, and as you can see, it is the tall cup. And I did 
pack it pretty full of parts. They did tape it down, so that was nice of them to do. So you got like some tan jumpers, tan plates, a um, bunch of parts to build the Statue of Liberty. Uh, you can see like kind of like that blue purple piece right there. This is some brown plates. Uh, there are like big white panels in there. Um, I mean, that's really it for this thing. So just really cool to get my first pick a brick cup. So, I mean, yeah, that is really it for today. Uh, that is what I got at the Rockefeller Center Lego store. So, again, just really glad to have gotten a chance to go to that Lego store. It was a really cool experience. And I also think I got a lot of cool stuff. So, yeah. I mean, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.